Hey Hard Chargers, welcome back to USMC Rebels. I'm your host James, sometimes known as the Dark Knight of Thrones, but only if you're into geeking and gaming. If you are, go check out my other channel of the same name. But today's video is going to be me teaching you and taking you through the step-by-step -step process of how to obtain one of these in the state of New Jersey. All right, hard chargers. The reason I decided to make this video was because this is actually my first ever handgun purchase, uh, something I certainly should have done uh, the day I got out of the Marine Corps. But uh, let me go ahead and clear this for you on camera so you do know I'm not just sitting here with a loaded weapon or anything like that. So she's all clear. Go ahead and do that. And yes, that is my Salty Cracker sticker. I love Salty Cracker. If you are a freedom-loving American, you should probably love Salty Cracker too. Uh, just go check out for the channel, Salty Cracker. I think he's uh, close to 250,000 now, so come join the Salty Army. But that is not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is to teach you how to legally obtain a handgun and a firearms ID, which you need to get a handgun or any kind of gun, in the state of New Jersey first. And the very first step that you have to do is visit your local police department. So, the city that I live in is actually one of those towns in New Jersey that has really good cops. They believe in the Constitution. They don't just harass citizens for no good reason. I'm very fortunate to live in a city with such an awesome police department. Also, they don't make you jump through all the bells and whistles that some other towns might. I've seen videos about people who live in, say, towns like Kearney, and they will have to, they will make you jump through some hoops that you may not have to jump through in a different municipality. But you go to your local police station, that is the absolute first step, and tell them that you want an application for your firearms ID, uh, and they will give you the ORI number to fill out. Now, in my municipality, the way they handle it is they simply tell you to go on the New Jersey State website. They handed me this two-page document on kind of how to go through it. And it's actually a really easy but long process just because it's New Jersey and they don't respect the Second Amendment here. Like I said, though, very fortunate to live in a township that does. So in my municipality, they give you this piece of paper with the ORI number, and it includes the website address to go apply for the license. Now, I'm going to put this on the screen here, uh, but it's njportal.com forward slash forward slash, if I can talk, NJSP uh, for New Jersey State Police, F-A-R-S and you will fill out the application there, but you absolutely, positively need your local police station's ORI number. This is important, originating agency identifier. You will need that. And even on here, they give you tips for success, which I find is really awesome. Gather your information and have it available before beginning the application. You're required to provide contact information, and this is part of the process, for two personal references who are able to speak for your character. This is on you to inform your references that the FARS system, the FAR system, will email them the reference questions to be answered. And those questions are the same questions you're going to answer about yourself. Are you an alcoholic? Do you have a drug problem? Do you have any, are, are you aware of um, wanting to overthrow the government? Things of that nature. It's about 10 questions. I could look it up and give you an exact thing, but it's just, and, and you'd be surprised how many people actually can't give the right answers to these questions. Um, you can't have restraining orders against you. You can't be someone who has a violent criminal past and think you're just gonna breeze through this process and get yourself a weapon. Now, you will go through this, and I do apologize for the, as uh, Paul Harrell would say, Shatner-esque pauses, 
I'm trying not to say uh, and I find myself doing these pauses a little bit more often, so please do bear with me. Uh, but after you go through the application, you will then receive, and after after your two references have also sent in those questions, and that's all done through email. So you will answer the questions on the New Jersey State website, and then your references will also answer these questions through email. Your references do not have to be residents of the state of New Jersey. One of my references is a old Marine that I served with. He was actually my platoon sergeant in the Marine Corps. Uh, I listed him as a reference and he lives in the state of Arizona. So you can use any references that you know, but do let them know that that questionnaire is coming. It's going to be emailed to them. The sooner they get that back, the sooner this process will be done. So once that is complete, once you filled out the application on the New Jersey State Police website, and your two references have answered the questions regarding your character and what they know about you, they will then send you to get fingerprinted. You will have to set up an appointment and date for this. Now, you schedule the appointment for fingerprinting prior to them having to answer the questions, because I did have to talk to one of my references and say, hey, you uh, <clears throat> didn't answer these questions yet. And, she was an old boss of mine and I love her dearly and she swears she hit send on it but she ended up going back and, and doing it and making sure that it was sent so uh, because she didn't know I actually got an email from the New Jersey State Police saying one of your references did not answer these questions yet so make sure that those references do get through there and in the process of this video, of course, I'm going to delete out, bleed out, I'm going to delete out my personal information that you can see on here. Uh, but you'll see the reason for fingerprinting firearms license, uh, contributor's case number is having to do with the state police, the document type. I applied for my firearms ID as well as a license to purchase a handgun in the state of New Jersey you can only purchase one handgun every 30 days. Again, not a Second Amendment friendly state, not a Constitution friendly state, but that's a topic for a different time, and I will be making videos about this. So you're going to have to list your employer's address. Um, during this process, the detective for my local police department did contact my work to make sure that I actually do work there. They take all this information, they run all this, and you are now going for your FIR, your firearms license. All right, which in the state of New Jersey is actually still fairly cheap to get. The firearms ID is $5. The handgun license is $2. The most expensive part of this process is the fingerprinting because you can't do it at your local police station. You can see right here, this cost me $56.05 to get fingerprinted for this. So once you get fingerprinted, once they run your fingerprints, once they've run the information, the New Jersey State Police has run your information, the detectives of your local police department will also be doing a simple background check on you to make sure you're the right type of person that they believe should own a firearm. Now remember, this is not a license to carry. This is simply a license to own. You can carry the firearm, on your own residence. I can carry it into my backyard. I can carry it into my front yard. I can clip it on my waistband on my front porch. So once that is done, once the fingerprinting is done, what's going to happen? And like I said, this is actually a fairly easy process, but it seems other videos have made it so that it seems overly complicated. After the fingerprinting comes back, after the detectives of your local police station come back with something, as to what they can or cannot find, you are going to be approved or disapproved. And then from there, you are going to go to your local police station after they have contacted you, mind you. You will get the email saying that everything's complete, you've been approved, but in that email it will also tell you do not go to your local police station until and unless 
they contact you to come pick up your firearms ID, which doesn't have an expiration, and you can purchase as many uh, shotguns and rifles, long rifles, as you want, as long as they're legal in the state of New Jersey, of course. But you can only buy one handgun per every 30 days. Every time you want to get a new handgun, you're going to have to go through the handgun permit application again. At least this time, you don't have to go through fingerprinting again. They're just going to run it and check on you again. So, I'm going to turn the camera back on me for the rest of this. And I do apologize. I know this video isn't the most polished thing in the world, but I really just wanted to guide you through the process a bit. So every time you do purchase a new handgun, it's going to be another $2 to go and get the new handgun license. Of course, that's if you're approved for it. But the biggest thing to remember is if you have some kind of criminal history, don't be surprised if you get denied. Also, for me, someone with a criminal history of not even a speeding ticket. Okay, I am one of those people who on paper is a 100% Boy Scout. I have no interest in overthrowing the government. I consider myself a friend to my local police department. I'm sure they consider me a friend to them because they barely knew my name before I went in there to pick up the application. So. The biggest thing with this is the waiting. The gosh darn waiting. It was about a three month process for me in just waiting for each step to go through. And that's how it's going to be if you're a total Boy Scout or Girl Scout. Because honestly, women, I think you should all have weapons. I think you should go to the range and train and know how to shoot a firearm to protect yourselves course in the state of New Jersey and it's one of the things I actually did like about Chris Christie during his tenure crossbows and stun guns are now legal now crossbows bow and arrow you can carry that with you a half hour before sunup and half an hour before sundown because I guess you're more likely to shoot somebody with a bow and arrow when it's dark out I don't know but anyway Stun guns are legal, so even if you don't want to get yourself a pistol, a rifle, or a shotgun, please carry some kind of personal protection. I'm specifically talking to the ladies right now. Women who are armed are a lot less likely to get mugged or raped. That's just a fact. So it's a bit of a simple process, but the way it's explained by most people, or if you just look it up online, it can seem very confusing, but hopefully I've guided you through this well enough to understand how you can go ahead and obtain this. One thing I did forget to mention, however, is that when you go to the police station to pick up your firearms ID and your handgun license, and of course they will notify you of this, but I'll tell you right now in the video, they don't accept cash, they don't accept checks, and they don't accept debit or credit cards. You have to go to the post office or wherever it is you go to get money orders, buy a money order made out to your local PD, and that is how you will pay for your firearms ID and your handgun license. So hopefully I've helped guide you through this process a little bit. I do suggest that you exercise your Second Amendment rights, even though it's a little difficult and time-staking and painstaking in the state of New Jersey to do this because they're so anti-Second Amendment, or should I say, many members of the Senate Assembly and our lovely Governor Murphy are very anti-gun. They are anti-Second Amendment, and to me that means you're anti-Bill of Rights. But like I said, a story for another time because they're also anti-Bill of Rights, not just the Second Amendment. But that is definitely a story that's going to be coming to this channel that I'm going to cover for all of you guys to better understand what it's like to live in this state. But I went ahead and got myself the Smith & Wesson M&P 40, which I have taken to the range already. I really do love this weapon. Let me just go ahead and clear that for you again so you do see I'm not just 
fiddling around with a gun, that I do follow good safety procedures. Uh, I was in the United States Marine Corps. I do understand the safety rules. And the number one safety rule, before you even think about buying a gun, have it ingrained into your brain. Please, treat every weapon as if it were loaded. I cannot stress that enough. So, she's clear, I promise you. But... I really do like this pistol, and I'm very glad that I did get approved to have a handgun in the state of New Jersey. I will be probably buying either a shotgun or a rifle next for the simple reason that I do want to go out hunting. I do want to hunt with buckshot. I do want to get a uh, five-round bolt-action 30-06 rifle that I've been looking at. I believe that when it comes to hunting, it's me or the wolf, and I'm going to give the deer a much cleaner, much less painful death than a wolf is going to. So keep that in mind, guys, but do arm yourselves, America. The Second Amendment is your constitutionally guaranteed right, and I could not be happier with this purchase I made. I'll be doing a review on this pistol. I do thank you for watching this video. If you've made it all the way to the end here, please do me a giant favor. Give me that thumbs up, make a comment below in the comment section, and while you're scrolling down to make that comment, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. At the time of this upload, I am three away from 100, where I can get a personalized URL for this particular channel. And if you're into geeking and gaming, please do remember, Dark Knight of Thrones, I have that channel, we're close to 500 subscribers over there, and I'd really like to keep that going as well. So guys, this is James, signing out of USMC Rebels, stay hard hard chargers, we'll see you next time.